told they had nurse there that they're getting ready for a uh, total civilian uprising. This is Montana. Like, I mean, you know, we, we got cities in Montana, only 50,000 people. Hey, we've had the emergency managers on months before it came out mainstream news. My point is everything we say gets confirmed where the police are being trained in every town and city for the military, the vets to attack them and to lock up citizens and do this. And they're now admitting that they're training for a citizen uprising and hardening all the police stations, cops. What is it that's so horrible that was planned that they knew to set all this up before the flu ever showed up? It's premeditated. It's a setup. It is. And, Alex, what I want to share with every law enforcement within the sound of our mutual voices, and this thing goes around the world, is that when they're done with you, the reason they're telling you to be deployed in other states is you're not coming back. The, the, thank God in Montana, I know some Texas highway patrolmen are down there. We call You guys call them state troopers or whatever, but they know what the game is. What? How, how do you say to a patrolman in any state, uh, get ready to leave your state, leave your family and uh, children, and we'll take care of them. Yeah, right. And go be deployed in some other state, because that way you can get around your conscience about firing on your well, own. Look, the globalists funded Hitler. They funded Lenin, Stalin, Mao. David Rockefeller wrote op-eds in the New York Times praising the 60 million killed. It's in my film, Endgame. You cannot make up this magnitude of evil. Folks, they want to do in America what they did in Germany and Russia and China. They are not playing games. They want to wipe the middle class out, just like Ukraine. They mean business. Alex, now, I, th I think the most horrific thing in the last 24 to 48 hours is the open statements from the head of Department of Homeland Security. Or Nate, you've carried it on your website. I've carried it that, that they want people to spy on each other. Now we get the whole thing that Rush Limbaugh is talking about, and I, you know, and everybody's talking about it. Gee, they're asking people to turn others in. Where is the disconnect? We are in a supercharge on steroids, Nazification, total destruction, and it pisses me off that people are standing by who have voices. And shame, shame, shame on you. The Lord God, I haven't rebuked those of you that could stop this, and you still refuse to do. Well, let me expand about on it. that. You're right. Limbaugh is covering it right now. The White House confirmed, this is from WhiteHouse.gov, White House calls for citizens to inform on opponents of Obamacare. And then in that video, we have the link to the newscast where they're saying the police may arrest you if you criticize him. I mean, that's what I mean. Uh, Steve Quayle, I can't even believe this is actually happening. I mean, I've known it was coming for years. I've known it was being set up. But, I mean, they're really going to try a Soviet-style purge in America, and they think they're going to use flu as the cover for it to acclimate everybody. How do we stop them, Steve? How do we short-circuit this clear psyop? Well, first of all, information, information, information. I would advise everyone to start sending the major networks, the listeners to you, listeners to me, major networks, saying if they don't stop the propaganda for the Nazification of the destruction of American citizens, everybody has to basically say to you, listen, we're your listeners, we're the people that buy your stuff, you have to cut them off economically. Second of all, the thing is, is that you have to appeal to anybody you know and everyone you know to do the same thing. Look at, Alex, you quoted, I think you were playing, weren't you, uh, Specter's statements and the response from the town halls to him and others? People have got to recognize that they have a voice now. If they have no voice and choose to remain silent, they're dead. You know, the, the point is, is that it's now or never. See, this isn't, and I want to make something clear, this is no longer a fake-out. This is a total take-out, okay? They have, they have done their testing. They've done their beta testing. They know... You know, everybody, this is why so many threats are being made. This is why people are having real-time surveillance by agents on them. This is why, you know, they're so afraid of Obamacare. Because what is Obamacare? Ladies and gentlemen, I'll make it easy for you. It's, loose, it's euthanasia, and it's a total destruction of free will in America to choose your own destiny. And we are being systematically destroyed. And by the way, Steve, Quayle, that is not your opinion. They keep, I mean, I have the bill. I've gone over the subsections where it socializes, takes over, the government takes more of your check. It's like workers' compensation, or it's like, uh, you know, where, where, where employees and employers have to pay in uh, for their unemployment insurance, and then you never get one-tenth of it. They, I mean, they just deny it all. It's like government health care. They're going to take a big part of your check now, and then you get an aspirin when you have a heart attack, 
I, I mean, this is such a takeover. And then uh, Obama's people are running around saying it's lies if you say it. Meanwhile, Daschle wrote a book saying if you're above 60, you don't get eye surgery or brain surgery. Right. I mean, they really say they're going to ration care. It's all eugenics. They talk about it in this book. It's happening in Oregon right now. Oregon will no longer... Uh, I think pay for chemotherapy. They're saying they'll uh, fund your assisted suicide. And I'm telling people, if you don't believe in assisted suicide, well, then you better get up to the speed because the point is, is they're about ready to assist in your genocide. Alex, here's Time, Newsweek, they're, they're all, every time I read them, in fact, I have some right here, they're promoting euthanasia and how it's beautiful and how it's wonderful. But it isn't your right to choose. It's the government killing you. And they have this article I saw was either in Time or Newsweek, actually. Where are those two Times and Newsweeks I had in here earlier in the week? The point is, they were in my stack. They're gone now. Oh, here they are. In, in uh, one of these articles, well, I'm interrupting. The point is, is that it actually says, well, having the right to die is good, but should the government be able to kill you? See, as soon as they get you to the point of, oh, it's beautiful to be able to kill yourself. Next, it's, is it also beautiful well, for the to them is government to kill you? Yeah, why don't you set a good example, all of you guys who are promoting it on Fox, ABC, NBC, CBS. Listen, they're vomit brokers. People are either going to drown in their stupidity, their indifference, or someone else's cocktail, you know, from hell. Oh, look, the Grim Reaper's taking the old person. It talks about how beautiful the death is, how these people committed suicide, like Romeo and Juliet. And, and then it says, oh, but... Should the government kill you? Because it mentions governments in, 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 in Northern Europe actually kill the people without them wanting to die. And she goes, well, you know, it, maybe it's reasonable, Steve. Yeah, again, Alex, the thing is, is that if people do not turn off their television sets, listen, here's the thing. Why, and, and look, it's not, it's not spooky. The, the, the whole change to HDTV, okay? There are realms of the electromagnetic spectrum, I'll just say this, that people are unaware of. There are scientists who were trying to bring this out to the public that are being systematically executed or threatened. The thing is... is that no, I've been to the UT psychology department. They admit, I was there seven years ago, with the flicker rate, they have monkeys chained down, and they're practicing how to put us into a mesmerized state. That's admitted. That's right. taught in RTF. Yeah, and also with Gwen Towers, GWEN Towers. Uh, you see, this is the thing, Alex, that people have got to understand. The, the, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, troop movements all across the country, tanks, Bradleys, Humvees with 50 calibers mounted. Not just they, troop movements. They're openly deploying the Army for car wrecks, drunk drivers, counties don't have money. I mean, they're openly taking over. Right, and that's and that's the, that's the thing that people, you know, forgive me, Alex, martial law is in effect right now. It is. No, no, it's in effect right now, exactly as I've said for years, and you've said, the feds were going to bankrupt the states, and then they'd say, oh, from Schenectady, New York, to Birmingham, Alabama, oh, the Army's here now, the feds will take over. It's happening. Right, and I want to share something, the most troubling thing that I know is a, a French general was just appointed ahead of the NATO troops for the United States. You know, we've caught a lot of crap from a lot of skeptics of scornful, you know, wicked people over the years. But now, isn't it amazing that a French general is uh, appointed head over the NATO troops in the United States? There are reports, Alex, coming from the field, even U.S. military, career officers and others saying, we have these foreign observers. You know what I tell them? Guess what the foreign observers are there to do? They're not just to watch effectively how you do your job. If you fail to do your job, they whack you. And see, people say, well, that can't happen in America. No, that's InfraGuard. That's the 56,000 infrastructure protection officers. It's all admitted. Right. So, so I, I hope when people understand this, in other words, there are foreign military officers slash assassins assigned to different units of the U.S. military that should any of the U.S. military fail for conscience, fear of God, fear of the Lord, whatever, uh, concern for their own families, they will be, you know, targeted, ex executed. It's like the SS. That's what Hitler originally set the SS up, was to make sure that his troops fell in line. Now we, Steve. Have, we have triple S. We have steroids. Oh my God. Look, look, I want to go through flu issues and then take calls. I want to go through the eugenics. I haven't gotten your take on Holdren. Uh, he is in the Associated Press and Wall Street Journal calling for terraforming the planet. We know they're engineering the droughts to starve out the third world, which they propose in their own publications. 
Now he's in the mainstream news saying, oh, they want to weather control, but to help you, they're being forced to admit this because we've been exposing them. I want to talk about how you see this unfolding first, though, in October and November, and how they're going to use this flu fear-mongering as the pretext to get their whole agenda through. Steve Quell's our guest, stevequell.com. I'm Alex Jones. Our websites are infowars.com and prisonplanet.com. We're live on TV as well, simulcasting the radio at prisonplanet.tv.